This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, in spite of heightened volatility and despite the down session on Friday, the S&P 500 advanced 1.43% this week. The NASDAQ composite gained 4.41% as investors bet on technology and other growth names ahead of next week's Federal Reserve policy meeting. It was the best week since January for the tech-heavy index. However, Friday's slide pulled the Dow into negative territory for the week, but only slightly. The sudden collapse recently of Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank, the second and third largest bank failures in U.S. history, respectively, has sparked concerns that anxious customers could drain deposits from other small and mid-sized banks, like First Republic, whose stock lost nearly 70% of its value over the past week. Now, these fears have rippled throughout the global financial markets, weighing on stocks and drumming up demand for safe haven investments like U.S. Treasury bonds. The yield on the two-year U.S. Treasury has dropped over 20% to 3.85% from a recent high yield of above five. That stretch of trading included the two-year yield's largest one-day fall since 1982. Now, the yield volatility is a symptom of traders trying to handicap the path of central bank monetary policy from here something that seems like an impossible task. Just over a week ago, Fed fund rate futures were pricing an implied 85% probability of the benchmark rate ending 2023 much higher. Today, expectations have shifted dramatically to a lower and closer peak with the Fed cutting rates in the back half of the year. As for the FOMC committee's decision this week, Wednesday, the greatest odds implied by futures market leaned towards a 25 basis point increase and about a one-third likelihood of no change at all. Before the confidence crisis, the debate was over whether the FOMC would hike by a quarter or a half point. The latest inflation and other economic data argued for an increase, while the bank blow-up suggests a pause may be prudent. What Jerome Powell will ultimately decide to do depends on what happens between now and then. In many ways, it will be a game-day decision for him and the Fed. Meanwhile, for long-term investors like us, market chaos has created a smorgasbord of opportunity for investment. Stocks and bonds are reasonably priced with attractive yields, while the yield on cash is now close to 5%, up from no yield just one year ago. What blows my mind is the amount of money that was deposited at these recently failed banks that was not only unsecured, but earned zero interest. Only half of the 82 billion in deposits earned any interest at all, while nearly 94% of those deposits were uninsured. Why would any wealthy individual or company have that kind of unsecured exposure to one bank anyway? How could so many be so bad at simple cash management? I guess Gordon Gecko, you know, the character in the movie Wall Street from 1987, had it right when he said, a fool and his money are lucky enough to get together in the first place. Hey, my son Ryan and I, we have 70 years of combined industry experience of building low cost, tax efficient, gold-based portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you need to do is pick up the phone and call 844-752-6692 or text 844-752-6692 or just simply give us a call at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist of Payne Capital Management.